Hi, welcome back to this video series where we're talking about Bitcoin basics and we're here in part two talking about Bitcoin wallets. And before we move on, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the future videos that I'm going to be rolling out really soon. So what is a Bitcoin wallet? A Bitcoin wallet is basically a way to store your Bitcoins either virtually or physically. And there's really four different types of wallets. The first is software that you actually install on your computer and lives on your hard drive. The second is mobile. So you could have an iPhone or a Droid and basically have an app where you can manage your Bitcoins from there. Um, you can also host them with a company online or have physical paper wallets. And if you go to, I have all the links below in the description, but if you click the link that says done so done.ly forward slash choose dash wallet, that'll actually bring you to the uh, bitcoin.org website and you'll see the different options here and you can just read up on some of the basic information about wallets. Um, but you have software wallets, mobile wallets and web wallets, and they don't talk about paper wallets on here, but we'll get to that in a second. So let's talk about software wallets. Um, the nice thing with software wallets is you have complete control and let me see if I get this right, anonymity. So basically it's uh, anonymous where you don't have your information floating around online. Um, it's physically stored on your hard drive. Okay, so it's not, again, doesn't have to be connected to the internet. Um, and it's really important to make sure that you back up your physical wallet or your uh, your wallet on your hard drive because let's say that you don't have it backed up anywhere and your computer dies or somebody comes in and steals your computer or you know some of you might have heard about the story of the guy who lost about six million dollars worth of bitcoin because he forgot that he had a bunch of bitcoin on his computer threw his computer in a uh, landfill and had to go through uh, thousands of tons worth of trash to try to find his computer. And I don't know if he actually ever found it, but either way, you want to make sure that if you have a software wallet that you back it up. And one of the most popular uh, wallets for your computer is Bitcoin QT. And on this computer, I just downloaded um, an example of this and then kind of played with some Bitcoin sending and receiving so you can see what it looks like. But basically, this is what your um, Bitcoin QT wallet will look like and we'll do some tutorials a little bit later but here you'll notice that you can send Bitcoin um, you can receive Bitcoin you have your Bitcoin address you can go through some transactions so you can see I just basically sent and received a little bit of Bitcoin um, just to kind of show you what this looks like and then if um, one thing that you'll need to do whenever you download this is you'll need to download the entire blockchain or all of the prior Bitcoin transactions and then that will be current and up-to-date so the second option that you have is using a cloud hosted wallet and the benefit here is you can access your bitcoins um, anywhere from uh, anywhere on the world with a high speed internet connection and um, Online wallets or these websites that you can use as wallets can act as exchanges where you can actually buy and sell. They don't just hold your coins like, you know, Bitcoin QT. This is not an exchange. It's basically just a software program. But with some of the cloud hosted wallets, you can actually buy and sell through their website as an exchange. Now, some of the risks of cloud hosted websites um, are, you know, hackers. Uh, there have been some stories of some of the exchanges and some of the online wallets that have actually gotten hacked. So where I have complete confidence in the security of the protocol and the actual, the Bitcoin protocol, um, that can't be hacked. And one thing that can be hacked is the websites, the online wallets that hold your information. So um, in some future videos, we'll talk about security and really how to to control and, and maintain your Bitcoins in a really smart way. Um, also company default, you know, if an exchange or a, a company goes out of business, you know, your Bitcoins in theory could go into thin air and it's not anonymous with a lot of these um, exchanges and online wallets. You do have to verify your uh, information and they, in a lot of cases, want some really personal stuff. Um, and a couple of these uh, cloud hosted websites are like blockchain.info and coinbase.com. So blockchain.info is a great site where you can actually see the live Bitcoin transactions that are occurring. You can also look up any transactions or addresses. And if you click on the wallet link here at blockchain.info, you'll just notice the, the different wallet uh, options that you have. So the third option is using a mobile wallet. Um, so the, again, there is third party risk here as well. Um, and these are apps for Droid or iPhone. And this is just kind of a snapshot of what it could look like. And again, if we go back to uh, blockchain, 
if we scroll down here, you'll notice um, they have some info on their mobile apps. And I just encourage you just to kind of read through all this, get really uh, educate yourself on all the information that are on these websites because it's really good stuff. And then the final uh, type of wallet is a paper wallet. And um, this is really the safest way to store Bitcoin if you take care of it. Now, if you um, take your Bitcoins offline onto physical paper and then you lose the paper, it's kind of like having gold delivered to your house, right? You can buy gold and have it stored somewhere or you can have it, you can buy gold and actually hold it somewhere in your house, right? Um, and so what you'll do here is you'll generate a public and a private key from your browser. So there's websites that'll create public and private keys for you, or you can download the generator, um, and actually print out, um, physical bitcoins where really it doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter if it's handwritten or if it's printed on official, you know, real glossy paper. The only thing that matters is the public and the private key, right? Um, and so, down below, again, in the description, I have all these links that will show you how to work with uh, paper wallets. But one thing you probably want to do is go to the uh, the paper wallet um, wiki and just read through all this. It's really good stuff. Um, I don't want to duplicate what's already out there, but it, you know, here's just kind of an example of what you know a paper wallet could look like. You can see the the public address, and then they have the private key, which is protected. It's folded over, and then they have this nice little baggie that they put it in. Um, so there's some really cool ways that you can actually store these offline and really protect it, so hackers can never get to it. So in some of the next videos, we're going to be talking about Bitcoin exchanges, um, also how to trade Bitcoin, um, tutorials for some of the trading tools. I'll actually show you how to create accounts and actually use a lot of these tools that we're talking about. And um, we'll also talk about Bitcoin mining. And so in the meantime, um, feel free to click right here to watch the video on Bitcoin exchanges. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. Hope this was helpful. I'll see you in the next video.